through the centuries, men of power and ambition have dreamed of a world united under their control. But no empire has endured by force of arms. What seems to hold the world together is the invisible network of common interest which unites trading communities and makes the world whole. Although their cultures are quite different, the United States and Thailand understand and respect each other. What they do have in common are their household words, and that is always a beginning. Businessmen everywhere are what politicians have to be, responsive to the demands of the public. If a man in Bangkok wants an American shirt, the merchant must provide it. Otherwise, his customer will go elsewhere. Today, there are many demands. Today, the consumer, no matter where he lives, no matter how remote, differs from his grandfather in one respect. He knows what there is to be had, not only where he lives, but everywhere. Today, people in the farthest corners of the world know exactly what they want. If they do not know, someone is sure to tell them. There was a time when nations, fearful of strange ideas and foreign goods, hid behind a legal wall, the restrictive trade barrier. But governments came to realize that imports could benefit their own countries, that high tariffs eventually hurt.